Hello, church family. What a great day to study God's Word. And today we're starting the book of Psalms, also called at times as the book of praises. And there's more than seven composers. King David wrote at least 75 of the 150. And it was written over a 900-year period, a span of 900 years. And we start out in Psalm 1, and it's about the righteous man and the ungodly man. And first, in verse 1, it says, Blessed is the man. It doesn't say blessed is the king, blessed is the uh, rich person, or blessed is the very important person. It says blessed is the man. It applies to all of us. And it tells what he should not do, that he should not walk in the counsel of the ungodly nor stand in the path of sinners. But what should he do? He should delight. Yes, delight in the law of the Lord. And in the law, he meditates day and night. Wow. So he contemplates, he thinks about, he ponders, he meditates on the word of God, which means that we need to pray that God would give us a hunger for his word, that we would desire to know it and to apply it to our lives and for it to direct us in everything that we do. And then he gives us an analogy. It says, he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water. And I can remember when Ruth and I and the boys would go to Colorado each summer. And as we travel from Oklahoma City out west, things would get desolate for a few trees. And then as we get into New Mexico and into Colorado, we would see a line of trees that going out across the valley. And you knew then there was water. There was a water and those trees would always be real green and pretty along that river bank. And it says here that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaves also shall not wither. And I can go to my flower garden and look at the flowers and see, look at the leaves and they start withering. I can turn the sprinkler system on and within a couple of hours, they're right back looking, looking fine. And whatever man does, whatever he does, who's that delight him shall prosper. Wow, what a promise. The last three verses here, this short chapters, talks about the ungodly and how they're like chaff that covers grain. It's kind of a shell over the grain and they take it and beat it against the floor, against the wall, and the wind would blow it away. And that's the way the ungodly are. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So it begins with the blessed is a man, and then it ends this chapter by the way of the ungodly shall perish. Hope you enjoy reading God's word here, and I hope you pray that he would give you a hunger for it. There's many, many promises in here. And right here it tells us, don't you want to be that strong, sturdy tree that roots go deep and it's stable and strong and it's beautiful and it bears its fruit and it's time and the leaves never wither and whatever he does, he prospers. May God bless you in a very special way today and may you enjoy reading his word and be blessed by it.